someone got a big old shed. Maybe big we should shed. maybe we should pull that snake out at the end if we have time. Maybe if we have time. Who's that? Uh, Beatrice of the Mochino reticulated. See, look, you're fluffy. Oh yeah, so she loves my fluffy hair like this. I personally think that it's ridiculous. However, she likes it, so there it is. Aloha, like top. Greaser look. What is it? The, you like that? You prefer the greaser look? I prefer something other than. Oh, you know what? I should probably uh, move the sign. Haven't had Hillary on a video for a while, so I figured get her in and show off this clutch, and uh, smoke weed and rap. Smoke weed and rap. <laughs> Drink beer and talk. <laughs> or whiskey. I did a whiskey today. Let's show mom and dad first. Okay, don't tell me who they are. You're going to guess who these snakes are? Yeah. Just by looking at them. Well, here you go. Here's snake number one. Ricky? Yeah, that's Ricky. Yeah. I mean, I did see what kind of the area he you got cheating? from. What's that? Are you cheating? No, I remember that Ricky was over there in those cages. Okay. Yeah, yeah this is Ricky the pastel Enchi clown. Mm -hmm. Had this guy for quite some time now. Um, he's fantastic. Burp. Excuse me. <laughs> and this Wait, is... Do we have two Beatrices? No. Didn't you say Beatrice was down there? Yeah. That's Beatrice. No, this is Bernice. Oh, Bernice. Okay, I was close. Bernice is a super fire, so that means that all of the babies that will come for her will be fire. Uh, guaranteed. 100%. Not Can't even have any weird coral glow slip-ups like we did with the previous clutch and all that weirdness. But yeah, look at how gorgeous she is. That's a good looking snake. slip-ups? Right? Well, the, yeah, don't worry about it. Now, what made you decide to pair these two? Uh, well, because what kind is she? she's a super fire. Homozygous fire means she's got fire on both sides of her chromosomes, mm -hmm. the X chromosome and the X chromosome being a female. And so it means that 100% of the babies are guaranteed to have fire. Mm. Did you say something about a coral glow? Yeah, I was talking about the last clutch. Oh, okay. Try to keep up. <laughs> well, I noticed these little things. You, you hold that snake. <laughs> I'll take these three. These are the first three snakes from the clutch. Oh, and the, oh my gosh, there, I didn't see there were three there. I thought yeah, there were two. No, there's three. There are oh. three snakes here. They are all fire. They're all female. And they're all 100% het clown. <laughs> and I brought this snake out to kind of show you the difference between a fire and a normal ball python. But keep in mind that this this particular wild type normal ball python does happen to be 100% het sunset. And he's a male. And by the time you're watching this video, I'm gonna put him up on Morph Market. So if you're looking for a 100% het sunset male, this guy's up there right now. You can see the main difference between fire and wild type is that fire lightens up a bit. That's why I brought this guy out so you can kind of see the difference. So you can see how much lighter, especially female number three here is in comparison to a normal. That's even 100% head sunset, which does have some influence, in my opinion, on how this guy looks. Look at this guy, here, since he's up there. Well, you can take a look at the good pictures that are up on Morph Market, but if you take a close look at him. Where's this one trying to go? He's a good looking snake right there. Where are you trying right to go, there. bud? Good looking snake. Oh, this one's good light Nice too. contrast. Nice blushing coming up the sides inside the alien heads. Of the... You're losing the snake over I'm there. not losing them. Okay. This one's kind of feisty, huh? No, it's semi feisty. Babies. Go back upstairs, please. <laughs> back upstairs, please. Oh, no. What is the issue? Oh, my gosh. Can't have what five happened? Minutes. And this is why Hillary hasn't been in the videos for a while because. Can't have a single moment with just us. There always has to be somebody else involved. Sure, you don't want to have another kid? Oh, I never <laughs> said anything about wanting to have another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yes, T, you can hold the baby snakey. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to show them the people okay. first. Snake number one, female number one right here. Fire. And I ordered them. I think that this one is, I mean, she's super cool. She's got all this business going up inside the alien heads along the sides there. Are Def these the same ones we just had out? Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely a good looking snake. And then snake number two here is a little bit brighter. And that's kind of how I ordered these. And definitely some good looking things going on with the snake as well. Have a look. A little bit brighter than number one. Nice head. 
I don't know what makes the head nice, but it looks nice. Okay. <laughs> like yeah. it just, it's like solid. All right. And this is snake number three and she is the brightest. So I think number careful one is the careful. least bright. Number two is medium it. bright. And she is the that? most bright out of. But we can't interrupt when daddy's talking, okay? All right. We have five minutes of distraction till she comes back. <laughs> okay, same ones? Oh no, these are different. Now, when you're looking at the aesthetic of a snake, you know, I hear you talk about the alien heads and the head stamp, like what, is there, is there certain qualities that are attractive to a majority of people who are snake enthusiasts? Everybody loves clown. Everybody loves pied. Mo well, honestly, most most uh, non-snake folks. <laughs> what? Oh, you just saw <laughs> that? Gives me you that. See the weenies? Yeah. Like yeah. The, the, weenie, yeah. the weenie freak you out there? It didn't freak me out. It just like, it hurts me. Male peenies. Peenies. <laughs> Come on, I feel like that should hurt me more. Ugh. Anyway. Um, bright colors, interesting pattern. Some people like a clean all-white snake like mom was. I mean, there's, it's personal preference, really. Okay. Like you like guys with poofy hair and <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I like guys with poofy hair. That's you like me with inaccurate. poofy hair. Yeah. And I don't like me with poofy hair. It's personal preference. So like... Sometimes it, it's symmetry. Sometimes it's like non-symmetry. Yeah, depends. yeah, totally. It could be, okay. Yeah, symmetry can be beautiful. Non-symmetry can see, be beautiful. Because see, that's symmetrical, and then that looks nice to me. I like the shading. I like like the dark, and then like, like the, kind of shade. Like I feel there. like I could well, paint the, yeah, that. Yeah, sym symmetry in the face and head is almost always a nice thing. Mm -hmm. But but there's some really interesting things. Like a, a special pied has this really interesting question mark that often forms on his head, which is mm. very not symmetrical at all, but it still looks really cool. Oh, that's cool. It looks like an arrowhead. So these are all Enchi fires. Like we got a, a male, a female, and a male. So that's snakes four, five, and six. Okay. And this is female number three that I wanted to compare to the Enchi fires because that's the fire right there, fire female. And these are the Enchi fire that are all sitting on the table or not mm -hmm. sitting but trying to move around and be crazy. Mm -hmm. And here's the female number three right here to compare if it would stay in focus. And I think that the female has the most attractive head stamp of all three, in my opinion. That head stamp is just fantastic. Which one? Let me see. Okay, so what about this head stamp? It's fantastic. Looks like those um, those art, that artwork, that like uh, when you do a, what is it, like a negative or something? A photo like, negative? Yeah, something like that. So what I love about this head stamp right here is, is so... No, I don't think so. Yeah, can you hear the little girl screaming in the background with her brothers? I hope not. But Or whatever. If you can hear her screaming, then you get to hear what I'm hearing too, which I is like not very nice maybe for the doing boys video. aren't out there with her anymore. They're out there. Noah was standing right at the door right there when oh, I walked really? over. Noah was standing there looking at me like, she's out here screaming. I'm like, yeah, I can hear her. Help <laughs> can us out, bud. Help, her, help out a little bit, big brother, so we can show this head stamp off. I mean, I'd love for her to come be part of the video if she wasn't going to be a little whippy whip. She Watch threw a rock sneaky. at a tree today and it came back and hit her in the face. Mm -hmm. And she's got a little bit of a sniffly cold. So she's just a little bit... Uh, I mean, she's good, mostly, unless you, I don't know, change the vibe for half a second and say that you want her to do something on her own for five seconds, I guess. That's, uh, well, it's like the thing where like any mom knows this, that you go to the bathroom... And then next thing you know, they're outside your door. It's just it's a thing kids do. They can't let mom get away. <laughs> they can't let mom get away while still being there, if that makes sense. Anyway, most of these snakes are going to be available, except for, I think, snake number five. I think I'm keeping this Enchi Fire female for myself. Oh, one other thing I didn't really point out about how you can tell there's Enchi in the fire. There's uh, there's a couple things. The the head stamp 
These eye stripes will get thicker in the back when it's Enshi. You'll notice a lighter tan color versus the black that was in the fires that didn't have Enshi. And then also the alien heads, the eyes inside of them kind of get these soft circles without, they're not hard lines. If you look really close there, they kind of got this softness to them, the, the eyes inside versus a real hard defined line. It's kind of like these, like you'll have this lone little spot sitting right there, which looks really cool, which is why I can tell these next snakes we're going to see are not Enshi because they don't have that. Uh, I would label them past Enshi, but I'm just going to let them go as fireflies because uh, well, I, I personally don't see Enshi in them. I think that's a boy too right there. Male four, or snakes number four and six are both male. Pink, and that's how you tell. Got a little dinky dinky coming out there. <laughs> so these are snakes seven and eight, both fireflies and both males. And fireflies is a pastel fire. And this is the Moolbanks line of fire, by the way and both very good looking snakes i guess i should open them up a little bit for you to see a little better these have quite a bit more contrast yeah these have like quite a black. bit more contrast so these ones have pastel whereas none of the other snakes so far had pastel in them mm. but they all have fire like i mentioned mm -hmm. and they're all 100 percent head clown which does i was gonna say pause head clown no 100 percent head clown okay. because dad is a clown so he just like mom passes on fire guaranteed all her mm -hmm. babies dad passes That's on clown, clown for sure but since it's a re recessive trait you don't see the visual aspects of clown although there is a in slight influence okay. in any of them oh uh, it's, i mean there's a slight influence people some people can say they see it i personally can't really pick it out like i could some other things but yeah, like they say know. it brightens up the snake a bit this whole mm -hmm. video you look super tiny compared to me by the way why is that? Just because the way you're sitting, like I'm sitting forward, like up at the table, and you're like sitting way back. It's a, it's a perspective thing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Quick update, quick clutch for you guys. We got a fantastic, probably my best Music Monday yet, in my opinion, coming up after the weekend's over. And we're going to be done with this video right now because uh, there's a little girl screaming outside and I, I just I can't I can't focus I gotta go take care of her all right let's go okay <laughs> aloha take care of yourselves take care of each other see you in another video with only one parent <laughs> me <laughs> I can't help that she loves me